Dr. Sella here, and you got to be very cautious what you read on the internet about the triple option office because it's evolved, man. It has evolved very much so, especially in the last two years. Now, look, if you go to tripleoptionfootball.com, which is my website, you could read an article from 2010, 2012, 2013. And it's so outdated, it's not even funny. I mean, listen, it, 12, 13 years ago, the offense was run to a two-man surface. You ran the triple option. If they gave you a three technique, you ran midline double. Rocket toss was run to a two-man surface. Counter option was the big misdirection plan. It sucked. I taught it at my camps for four years, and my clients would get all excited about it. Then they'd actually run it, and they're like, oh, this is hard. Of course it's hard. It's counter option. You ever try to run counter option? It's up. It is. It's tough. But that's what they did in 2010. That's what Paul Johnson did. Zone dive used the base block number one with the tackle. I mean, you'd run it if number one took the dive. The problem is number one never took the dive because most of my clients were, you know, getting whooped up front. That's why they called me. So they just let number one on the quarterback and let him hand the ball off the whole game. So it was a different time. So when you read stuff about the offense, and it goes for my website, you know, it goes for even for tripleoptionfootball.com. You could read stuff from 10 years ago. It might not equal what goes on today. Guys. Let me say this to you right now, and I want you to listen carefully, because I have spent four decades helping people do this, 14 years as a business, but I've been educating players on this since the 90s, educating coaches on this since the early 2000s. I've had to fix the same problem 100 plus times. So I want you to listen carefully when I say this to you. Okay, we're, 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 we're listening. Okay. What Air Force is doing right now is better than anything has ever been done ever with the triple option. This is the best way to run the triple option ever. Air Force has zero scholarship football players. They get guys that are Division II players. And they have to create a, an FBS Mountain West team out of Division II players because nobody is going into the Air Force and putting that kind of a commitment together and having the government own your can for four plus years if you have the opportunity to go to a freaking HBCU and play. Because at least you have freedom and you can breathe and you can take naps. And the government doesn't own you at Alabama State or Prairie View or Bethune-Cookman or Florida a and I, I mean, what you have to understand is what Air Force is doing right now is better than anything Navy ever did. It's better than Ar anything Army ever did. Air Force is 5-0 and against their last Power 5 opponents. Okay, Paul Johnson. I've said this in other videos, but I'll say it again. Okay, there is no bigger Paul Johnson homer than me. And I've got over 2,000 YouTube videos to back it up. Paul Johnson made my career as a sport and performance psychologist teaching people on the triple option offense. So believe me, I love Paul Johnson for what he's done for me. Guys, what Air Force is doing is better than anything that he, Paul ever did. Now, Paul did a lot of the same stuff, but he prioritized it different. But here's what you got to understand. Paul Johnson won 86% of his games at Georgia Southern. He had gold-nutted studs everywhere. Won 86% of his games. Air Force, in the last four years, have won 76% of their games and they don't have anybody on an athletic scholarship and they're playing in the Mountain West and they just beat Baylor. They whacked Colorado this year. 
got the poor guy fired. I mean, they are killing it with what they're doing. But because they're in the Colorado Springs media market, they don't get the coverage. When if Army wins big, they got the New York TV market. The biggest market, one of the biggest markets in the world. Navy wins, they get the Baltimore DC market. It's massive. When Air Force wins, they get a taste of Denver and they get the Colorado Springs market. So then when they win, they don't get the same kind of attention, but they're doing things better than Army and Navy ever did. Army in the mid 90s went 11 and 2, the one year 10 and 2, the one year. Okay, great. Air Force, they've had three years like that in the last four years. The only reason they didn't have one in 2020 is because of the pandemic. I mean, I hope you understand what they're doing here. So listen, when you watch a video on the internet, are you really getting the best possible information? Are you, are you really working to create the elite performance environment? Or are you just trying to find something because you don't want to submit and surrender to me? Let's be honest. And I'm not saying I'm the end all, but let me tell you something. You go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials, you're going to see winners. I help people win every year. Big. Had a client just go to the state championship game in South Carolina. Just had a client go from two wins to the second round of state playoffs in Oklahoma. It's not an accident because I provide my clients with the modern system from the best triple option program in the world so they can install it, practice it, play call it, persist through it, and win big. And I've found that the coaches that are willing to install it, play call it, practice, persist, and persist, and persist, they're the ones who end up on that testimonial page. Because I'll, I'll be honest, I've had some clients, they don't persist. Because they get beaten down by their players, the, the assistant coaches, fans, parents, administrators. Guys, the answer is right here. You come to me if you want to win. Now, the point of this video is don't be scrolling all over the internet looking for stuff. The answers are here. What Air Force is doing is better than it's ever been done before. Paul Johnson won 60% of his games at Navy. Air Force has won 76% of their games in the last four years. And played a tougher schedule than Navy. Navy was independent when Paul was there. Air Force has to play in the Mountain West. Paul won 57% of his games at Georgia Tech, which is very commendable, by the way. While Air Force, once again, 76% of their games with no athletic scholarship players. So you can keep trying to fight the fight. You, if you really want to win, pick up the phone and call me because the Triple Option Football Academy for $9.97 is going to show you how to install, practice, play, call, and persist the right way the first time. And if you want to do the camp, you get the academy, and I come out there for $29.97 and I'll install. And I'll have you practice it. And I'll be there to teach your players how to play call it so they can hold you accountable. And I'll teach your people how to persist. If you're in the mountain time zone, Pacific time zone, or Texas, $39.97. Is it worth it? So if you had $29.97, is it worth it to win four more games next year? Would you, or would you rather spend it on like jerseys or, you know, some huddle thing, which isn't going to help you do anything. It just makes it look cool on the sideline. So then when you get fired, you can say, hey, we held those cool pads on the sideline. We had no idea what was ongoing, but we got to hold those cool iPads on the sideline, paid all that money. When you could have brought this guy in, win four more games, and I can change the course of your life. So point of the video is be careful what you read on the internet, including on my website stuff from 10 years ago. Because it's outdated. Hey, information changes. New information leads to new conclusions. 
the point is twofold. Focus on Air Force, because what they're doing right now is better than anything's ever been done, and that's a fact. And number two, you come to me if you want to be elite. That's it. We'll talk soon.